All right, so uh, I survived Tough Mudder. Got the headband, got the shirt, you know, got the cuts and scrapes and bruises. This one's probably the worst. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, got that from the cliffhanger or Mount Everest, whatever they call it, the half pipe one. And then you climb, run up, and people will try to grab you and pull you up. Uh, the first time I didn't make it, so got that lovely thing from sliding back down. Uh, I got a bunch of other bruises and whatnot. Got some over here too. My knees are pretty bad from crawling through the mud. Um, but it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Still got my number a little bit. Won't wash off. <laughs> Not yet anyways. So got that. <clears throat> really sore from like the abs up. The running part, piece of cake. I could run that all day. It's just the climbing and everything that's what really wears you out the getting over the berlin walls and the mount everest and crawling through the mud the mud mile i mean <clears throat> tons and tons of upper body work so definitely got to work out and i'm glad that i was lifting weights and working on upper body before then otherwise there would have been a lot more trouble for me on the course um the lecture shock therapy that was pretty cool um and painful. Luckily I only got shocked twice. I did not get shocked at all on the electric hill because they were turning it off for 10 seconds at a time and the person in front of me would only crawl when it was off. So we were like between the electrical wires and didn't get any shocks and uh, so that was cool. So I had no idea what to expect when I got to electric shock therapy. Luckily I only got shocked twice. The first time was on my arm and the second time was like on my butt or something like that and that knocked me to the ground or the mud rather and uh crawled the rest of the way out of there because once you get down it's hard to get back up because you're just going to get shocked uh so did that and then completed that um probably the worst part was my group the wave that i was in we ended up getting stuck in this muddy creek like mud was literally at one point up to our thighs and it was so thick and hard to walk through and we were just standing there for I don't know 45 minutes to an hour because something was going on that we couldn't see so we couldn't get out um aside from that the rest of the course was good um of course you had to wait a little bit to go through some of the obstacles uh, not sure what, really what my favorite obstacle was but I did like the walls that they had the strip of uh wood on you had to walk across on your toes and grab onto the wood just with your fingers and the wood got narrower and narrower as you went down the wall that was pretty cool <clears throat> so i like that one a lot but um other than that i don't know they're all they're all really good the ch most challenging one was probably the berlin walls um after the first set you're like okay did that thanks to the help of some guys did that um, and then you get to the next set which is like two boards higher so that things like 12 feet tall and you're just like oh shit <laughs> but you know you either do it or you don't so you do it and uh, yeah so all in all it was good I didn't really get somewhere and just a little bit on my shoulders and neck you can't really even tell because um, I was so caked in mud and I wore sunblock so you know but being caked in the mud really helped against the sun whereas my mom that was watching her running around trying to find where I was at what obstacle um, <clears throat> sunburned so bad <laughs> she should have rolled around in some mud so yeah that's that and uh, I've got pictures but I don't know if I'm gonna put them up it's a lot of work that I don't feel like doing so oh and it's my birthday 26 yay me i'm old that was my last race as a um 25 year old so um now 26 yay me and my next race is in a couple weeks in austin austin 10 20 10 miles oh yeah that's gonna be a piece of cake compared to what i just did so bye for now